If you could stand up with me, we want to give great honor to the visionary behind Freedom Day. This great man of God, he came to me a few months ago with this vision. You know, when he shared it with me, I heard a sound. I hear a lot of visions, by the way. Some of you who know me well or we're close in the ministry know uh, all the time. We hear lots and lots of visions, and they're all good. Everything's great. Everything's good, and God is good. But there is a certain sound in the spirit. That it's the sound of faith. It's the sound of conviction, but beyond a personal conviction, but a word of the Lord, a voice in the voice. How many of y'all know what I'm talking about? When God is speaking. And when I heard that, something leapt in my heart, and I said, that's right, Freedom Day, Virginia Beach, we're going to do that. Let's do it together. Let's partner together. I thank God for this great man of God, for his leadership, for his faith, his courage, his vision. Come on, let's give a great big hand to Pastor Neverett Yarbo of the Harvest Ministries from York, Virginia. God is good, isn't he? God is good, amen? Now I want you to stay standing. I'm not going to talk that long, amen? I want to talk to you about faith. Hebrews chapter 11 says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it the elders obtained a good testimony. By faith we understand that the world's were framed by the word of God. Amen. So that the things which are seen were not made of things which are visible. By faith, Abel offered to God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, through which he obtained witness that he was righteous. God testifying of his gifts and through it being dead still speaks. By faith, Enoch was taken away, so he did not see death and was not found because God had taken him. Amen. For before he was taken, he had this testimony that he pleased God. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he who comes to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Amen. I want you to know there are over 70 altar workers here tonight. They have been fasting and praying. They are pushing their faith. They're going to be tools tonight for your deliverance. Give the Lord a hand, please. You see, it's not about fear, it's about faith. And some of you might be afraid, but I want you to step out in your faith, amen? Let me tell you a story. I'm going to be real quick. I was about, I don't know, 18 years old. My girlfriend, now my wife, we went to Virginia Beach, to the beach, amen? Went to go swimming. We didn't all couldn't swim that well, and she couldn't swim at all. Amen. And I was leading them, praise the Lord. And we walked a little too deep. Amen. And I guess we fell off the. I kept hearing the, the lifeguards blowing the whistle, but I was hard headed and I kept on going. Amen. And I sunk, I fell off first. When I fell off, I knew she couldn't swim that well. So I pushed her back. When I pushed her back, it pushed me further. Amen. Now, I don't know what happened to her. She disappeared. Amen. But there I was. I was in the water deep and I kept trying to get to the top and I couldn't get to the top. And I was a Christian. I was a believer. But fear came over me. I was afraid. And let me tell you something. When you get afraid, that's when it's time to call on Jesus. Are you listening to me? And so there I was. I kept trying to get to the top. Something was pulling me back. And I called on his name. I said, Lord, where are you? Where are you? Are you listening to me? This is why I believe. And so I stuck my hand up 
and I pushed up, but nothing was there. I stuck my hand up the third time and nothing was there. And finally, I pushed up one last time and something grabbed my hand and pulled me back where I'm supposed to be. When I got to the top of it, I saw the lifeguards coming, so I know it wasn't them, amen? And when they got to me, I said, did you guys pull me out? They said, no, are you okay? I said, I'm okay now. I believe in Jesus. I have faith in Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain. Are you listening to me? Every chain. I'm going to ask you to do something. I'm going to ask every one of you to come down.